Now it's active. Okay, so this is a winning in against two of our locals. Um, we have we... Colossal again versus uh, Corviknight Cheryl. Um, so this is R4 Gaming. Ryan, we've already watched him, and we're going against our local Jared. So, <laughs> so this should be this should be awesome to see who makes it. So I'm interested to see. Did so does with the um, JW and um colton game with the iding does that assure that they both make it in yes yes it does i'm pretty sure uh, especially it just kind of solidifies it for them at this point um, yeah uh, or it, it could have been it could have been a timing thing so again i'm I'm pretty sure that doesn't it, it, uh, i think there's so many two and twos and we had so many we had a couple drops that that's why yeah so that kind of changes the dynamic uh, it's always interesting when the tournaments kind of do that Yep, um, there there were a lot of people that just dropped after uh, you know not having a great start, and that kind of happens, like you said, in wow, every tournament. Big play there, by the way. Did you see that from Ryan? Give mm -hmm. that switch on the guru. Um, now he gets to. This is going to be huge damage. This is going to be. It's not necessarily huge a, damage, but this is like uh, <laughs> they're just yeah, going against no each other. On. Yeah, he has no Jared, bronze. On. That's true. Um, that's, that's, Ryan might be I mean, in a really good position to make cut here. And I don't yeah. know what's going on over there with all that noise, but it needs to kind of stop. <laughs> all right, chat. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that, bad. chat. They didn't get a bench Pokemon and knocked out. Oh, well, oh so Lone Wolf, you donk someone. Nice. There hey, we go. Well, there hey, we take, go. That's why, because I saw that you had won that. Yeah, that's right. So congrats on that one. Um, we'll start the bet in this game here. So top is uh, Jared. Bottom is uh, Rye for Gaming. So Colossal or Corviknight, I uh, put in the chat, exclamation point, bet, uh, and then space, and then top or bot, B-O-T or T-O-P, and then a number after that. Yeah, for sure. So I'm going to put the triple P bet here, and I'm calling this one. I'm calling big money on this one. I think R4 Gaming for sure. And Corviknight doing that good damage, 210 into there. Uh now with the vitality band here's the knockout return fire evolve and yeah this is this is big the fact that not only did we not see any um you know bronze on yet but this is all that energy for that player for for jared going out the door because this is 240 damage quick if i'm right there jake um so, yeah so it's 240 damage um which is that attack so out. he can mallow lana and then if he gets comes kind of switch i'm not, I'm not sure if he wants he to do that time. that might be greedy if you mallow yeah. lana that um i think you just take knockout get all that down obviously if he finds metal saucers he uh ryan That's could be in a lot of trouble um yes. but if he doesn't i think he's sitting pretty for the rest of the game uh for sure i i would think so too so let's see here jared is he he has one experience here, one air blue, one rusted sword, one vitality band. That's a lot of items. One chaotic swell, three evolution incenses, and I don't uh, four metal saucers. There they are. But one jasmine. What is the jasmine? Uh, search your deck for a metal Pokemon. Reveal and put it into your hand. If you go second and it's your first turn, search for five metal Pokemon instead of one. Then shuffle your deck. Interesting call. Kind of makes sense for this kind of deck. Yeah. So it's not bad. A one of them is good because if you get it later in the game, oh, just to start oh, it we just we we just um, missed something here. Uh, Jared has that Zashian ready to go. Um, two it knockout. Was three, it was two metal saucers. So two metal saucers and a detach. And, and then so a metal this, coating. Yeah. This could really change that for sure. And he has the rusted sword on it. This is big enormous amount of damage actually i think this was a missed play on him on that one because he if he would have put all that metal energy on the air balloon one he could still come in and knock it out and then switch out for free and then return fire with the next one that is true but um again um r4 gaming is kind of in trouble though with this knockout Huge coming trouble. in he does have another one back up ready to go um, but you're not taking knockout on any zashians no matter what you do next turn Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And to all the viewers who are watching, here's 100 free points because why not? And there's the knockout. So let's see what Ryan can do to respond to this knockout. I don't know. I honestly don't see 
uh, the what he can, what's the most effective approach here? Because if if Jared has a switch in hand, I mean, expect a lot of damage coming back through because yep. he could just easily switch into the retreat, uh, yep. you know, the air balloon retreat and re rinse repeat. So he goes up with the colossal, which is an interesting call. Um, I don't know if I would have done that. I personally think I would probably have thrown a guru down, but I I play too cautious um, sometimes. So yes, I don't know, Jake. What would you have been doing? I probably would have put down the cricket tune, knowing what I had, um, getting that extra draw power. Don't so that might not be the play um, because now Zashin can just hit into you. Right. Right, that's, that, that's I get why you don't put the uh, the cricket tune down. Um, yeah, and I just oof, this is he's debating. I think you get rid of the uh, yeah the Marnie. Yeah, you don't need that another train. So get that down. Um, did he play escape rope? No, he he bossed up that bronze one. Oh, he brought. Oh, I don't. So know. he's trying. He's he was trying to do this play to knock him that out. So he is a boss away from win, actually. That's a good point. Good point. So that was a good... Yeah, okay. I get it. I get it. Uh, and he has the Malalana in hand. That's huge. With a rose. Ooh. So he could... Oh. Oh, he has the rose. Does he have the energy in the discard pile? I think Yes, he, he does, because he got knocked out. Well, it has to be basic. So I know. He could, the, I, I, he, know I know he three. for sure has one. So if he could rose Krikatoon into one energy, he can knock out the active. And there's Whatever's nothing active, that yeah. Zashin can do. So this is actually huge because I think Ryan could go for that aggressive play right here and now. And he can check I... his thinking. So there's the well played. Whoa, that's a well played early on, though. He's I really know. going for it. Oh, he had it. He oh, had, he had, had, it. had okay, it. That's yeah, okay. it. So he Rose, with Rose the win on stream. Call it. <laughs> Call it. Rose is better. Rose no. is good. <laughs> <laughs> Where well they go, R4 played. Gaming. Um, taking that down. So, congrats yeah. for making. So we have at least two of awesome. our locals uh, going in there. I don't even know there. how to do that. That was awesome. That was that was an awesome game. Yeah. To see yeah. there. The so world. we're gonna jump over to Sleepy Dreepy over here because he's still in the middle of his game and that he's on a table. Um, looks like that Luke. Yep, yeah, it's a Japan uh, forty five or four or fifty four. J yeah, J Pan fifty four. I think, and yeah. going against um, our boy Sleepy Dreepy. So J Pan looks like he's got the board set state uh, set up like he did in the last game, where he has. <laughs> Here's the uh, BB though. So and yes, he can do it. Can't, he can... is that knockout though because he does still have metal goggles on. No, it wouldn't be knockout. And the GX attack has not been triggered yet, so I'm not sure. No, I don't think he has full metal wall, but he does have the goggles, which is kind of huge. Um, so there is a possibility that he can do something here for sure. If he plays that BB, gets like an Evo instance. Um, there we go. He has the Pokemon communication, so he can definitely evolve mm -hmm. um, and then switch out with the net. Oh, he already has it in the e Poke Evo. So he has the play where he could scoop up net and evolve into his VMAX and hit him for one really help. Oh, he can hit him for 150 with the... Yeah. So it's actually the... 120. It's still not quite enough to do 100% meaningful damage. How much does that Urshifu do on his... I think it's 180 normally. Uh, I believe this one is also 150 on it with its own damage. But the issue then, it, it, he gets to retaliate and knock him out. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I I think he's. this is another bad position. This J-Pan bringing in this Luke Metal and playing it super well uh i wonder i'm gonna take a look at so what's all I, i'm looking at the standing so this is another win in in so mm -hmm. the winner of this game um for sure makes it at uh four and one um i'm sure that maybe some three and twos make it um i'm not 100 percent sure because we still have what 14 11 22 players still in the field after you know some drops early on yeah yeah we had um, a full man it was a full set of players so that yeah. was an incredible um you know but so his jspn 54's uh roundup so far has been he faced rifer gaming in the first round against that colossal beat him then mm -hmm. faced our zora dad which we saw in the attorney's matchup beat him uh then faced adp and beat that from okay. Gusto. I and do then, like the strafe play. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then, yeah, no, it was a good play. Very good play. I, I don't, um, I'd rather, and, but then the uh, Kilvius 
Uh, he faced him, and that's his only loss right now. Who's our four zero? Who took an ID in the this past round? Yeah. All right, chat. What is going on with the chat? I'm retiring my real life attorney. No, don't retire it. Don't retire. <laughs> yeah, I it. think only three and two makes it if the rest don't tie. I believe the sure. So you we are we know that there was one ID at the top, so they're going to be three one one. So there's two people at three one one. Um, I'm not sure what the, that does to the rest of everybody else. <laughs> there's Jake shuffling his cards. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was actually getting ready to say if you guys want to, since we're getting low, let's do another round of guest at Pokemon type, and if you win, you get a champion's path pack we are still pushing to get two more follows for the end before the end of the cast and if we do that i'll turn that one pack into 10 packs Ooh. so All if right. in the chat press any one of those um any one of those types so we got water fire electric you know, colorless all that good stuff um i know i already oh um who won it earlier we had um Oh, I thought um, you did that one. I will go back and check. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know who is Ashton. Ashton won his. Yep. Um, Shadow Lighter says fire. So again, if we can get two more follows here, um, thank you for the follow. So one more follow, and that Woo! that uh, one pack sure. will turn into <laughs> a ten pack. Um, oh, we got it. We got we got a water. We got a dark. We oh, got a fire. Thank you we so much psychic. for the follow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, really. So we got a lot out there. So let me actually write down so who we are owing packs to. And all right, so here, uh, just so back in the game for those watching, we see the evolve into the Urshifu V Max. Um, did we get a Cheryl? The, so, oh, what is uh, the Guratine doesn't do anything there for you, but he's trying to thin so he can draw more for sure. Um, okay, but while we're doing that, I'm going to guess that Pokemon type. You'll see I'm shuffling, and because Chuck thinks I never get psychic, I'd probably be psychic, but there we go. We got electric. Did we get somebody in the chat to say electric? No, we did no, not. No, no electric. Fine, do another we'll card. Shuffle and we'll do it again. Um, we will go until we get a winner. Um, and then I will trade a PTPO packs through there. We got darkness. We got dark for Zoro Dad. Of course, Zoro Dad gets that. So <laughs> congratulations on the win there. If we get up to one more follow, that one pack will turn to 10 packs. So we need to get one more follow to hit that 50 mark. And we will be giving out more packs for sure. Yeah, and finally, Ryan, I am sending you your packs. I keep getting distracted. Yes. It's stream. Um, here are your 10 battle styles. Done. There's your trade. Have fun. All right. So, sitting in this, I just sure. don't you, know. Well, what as long as we get up to that, that Zoro Dad, follow for the old, old one. We'll hit that 50 mark. Um, and if we get it even further, we'll we'll, uh, we'll maybe even get some more packs away for sure. But that definitely helps um, the channel grow. It helps the algorithm. And that 50 mark is huge for Twitch. So, yeah, we're just, uh, we're just hoping to get one more. And we'll turn those two one packs into 10 packs. So we'll be giving 20 packs of um, Champions given out, here's, here's the fun part. Remember, we've already given out 10. I gave out 10 to Rye for gaming in that giveaway. We're going to do another round of that probably at the start of round two um, or, or phase two of this whole event in the top eight. And maybe I have another, I have some sh um, shiny fates, not shiny fates, shiny face. Yeah. Yeah. Shiny fates that I can give away too. So for sure. Um, all right. So going into this match here, uh, the, the, oh, the BB is there. Yep. All right. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Now, this is going to be... Now, the interesting thing is it's only to the active Pokemon, so he's not going to do any damage to the benched one uh, with that attack. Hitting oh, that's for unfortunate. Uh, it's, yeah, it's the, yeah, it's uh, the metal he's goggles. He's double-checking the metal goggles. Yep. It's only yep. active. Yep. So, yeah, it's it's the Phoebe. Um, I know he's, like, trying to figure out. He's like, what? Oh, why and there's the Malolana. That's, just, yep. that's heartbreaking. All I, that extra is... work and tech, and now he's not going to get killed here, but he's really behind. And yeah. J Pan fifty four is playing this Luke Metal per to perfection for sure. This is amazing. This is a this is a really well played Luke Metal player right here. Um, yeah, uh, he's double checking the metal goggles. I almost want to jump in into and let him know why. Yeah, uh, I think he knows. Up. I think he knows for sure. And no, thank he, you he, for he's... the follow, Zoro Dad. Um, and that gets us to 50. 
Thank you very Woo! much. Um, I will trade um, you guys instead of the one pack for that guest, that Pokemon type. It will be 10 packs instead of one of Champion's Path. Um, and I will send that in um, in the Pokemon trading card game here shortly um, in between rounds. Hey, you know what? Thank you, everybody. Uh, there's yeah, the concede you. from Sleepy Treepy. Oh, uh, unfortunate um, for Sleepy. Yeah, it, it uh, just, but congratulations just, was, to J-Pan. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's another play in shoe in right there. So, and we'll I think that actually it. ends it now because there's two IDs. So that kind of forces them. Um, Round five is done and over with at this. Uh, yep, yep. Yeah, because that's that's. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and take a look at another one of our videos here. Also, if you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe. Goes a long way in helping us grow. Remember, we release a podcast episode once a week on all the major platforms. We also stream every Friday on Twitch and make a whimsy watch monthly report.